Hi everybody, this is your girl Cupcake Baby 19. Right now I'm in my in the car. Um, I wanted to do this video earlier, but um, it was horrible. The snow was horrible. We had a really really bad snowstorm on Sunday, and uh, we were actually out of state, and we had to drive through the snowstorm on a Monday. Our car was snowed in, so. Um, we didn't get our car uh, out until ch Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. Anyway, um, I went to the doctor on Sunday and they told me come back. They told me they were going to call me and um, for some reason I think they called me on Sunday evening. I thought they said they were going to call me on Monday but they called me on Sunday night. And I didn't get a message because I wasn't, you know, stuck in the snow, in the in the storm. So on when it was on Mon Monday, our state called a state emergency because we had so much snow and uh, you know, so no buses, no trains, no nothing. Our car was snowed in, and the doctor wanted me to come back on Monday but unfortunately I couldn't go so on Tuesday we went and they did you know a blood test ultrasound usual for the IVF and then on what they told me come back on Wednesday and they were going to do a blood test and an ultrasound and a possible retrieval too uh, but the actual retrieval was scheduled for yesterday at 8 o'clock, 8.30 and I had to be there by 8 because I was getting general anesthesia so anyway when we went um, to the appointment they said okay well they're not going to do go ahead with the retrieval at 2 they're going to go ahead and do it yesterday as planned so we did went yesterday and um, I did my retrieval yesterday um, so yay um, what else happened it was pretty simple we went there they told you know they did a sonogram and they did blood work they told me go back outside I waited for 15 minutes then a call we signed some papers and then um, I went into the room um, what I didn't like though because of their how their uh, place is situated um, my husband was not able to go with me and he was not able to see me when I woke up um, after the procedure um, but the doctors and the nurses were very, very nice to me. Uh, we went in, we did, um, there were about four nurses. The doctor that did it um, did a retrieval and an anesthesiologist. And they made me feel very comfortable. I remember they, after he put, you know, he injected me with anesthesia, um, uh, I felt a burn in my throat. And I was about to ask, is this not? you know it's normal for me to feel this and I don't remember asking and I don't remember getting a response the next thing I knew I woke up and I was outside in the waiting the recovery room and I was in and out I heard somebody say something about him one if you want water but I don't know if somebody was speaking to me or somebody else um, and that was it you know after it laid there for about an hour to make sure that they wanted to make sure that I wasn't dizzy or I didn't have any puking or anything like that. It was good and um, I didn't have any spotting or anything after so that was great. Um, but I did have a little cramping so they gave me some pills and that was it. And I went, the, the nurse explained to me, you know, what happened and, you know, I asked her like how many uh, eggs they were able to retrieve. And she was saying, unfortunately, they were only able to retrieve, retrieve one and my heart sank I was like one and she was like yes only one and I was like oh my god so I have one little embryo but it only takes one right so they said you know um, have to wait for calls today and they will call me and let me know if the egg did survive and if it, it, it was fertilized so I got my call today and they said it was fertilized yay so I told the lady please 
take good care of my um my baby and she started laughing so that was good uh, so i go back on sunday for another ultrasound blood test um and monday they do the transfer on monday at 12 i think 12 something not sure where it is at time but at 12 something but i just want to come on here and give you guys an uh, update because i know you guys were ready for me to update you and tell you when it was probably was going on my process and possible retrieval and you know but everything happened so fast and mean by we joined us in a different state we have to be traveling back and forth back and forth all the time it is so hard when i come home i'm so tired uh my hands are hurting because of you know my veins um my veins they run so every time they stick me like for blood work and stuff they have to stick me three four times before they can actually get a vein so yeah my little baby is there growing they said it was fertilized and it was still maturing so that was that was good news right so my husband is very excited and we can't wait and we're praying and I'm praying and praying that um you know transfer will go on as they said on Monday so that's about it we are about to go to home depot right now to go get a shovel <laughs> um so when the snow comes back again we don't have to borrow somebody you know borrow uh, one from somebody um and we still have like some snow in our, our, our parking garage parking lot uh behind our car which we reversed the car started to skid so we need to get that up so we are about to go get um a shovel so I want to wish everybody a happy and a prosperous new year um for everybody who had a bfp congratulations for those of you who are still waiting um i have my uh ivf buddy here um on youtube she knows who she is i don't know if she wanted me to measure her in this video but uh, she knows who she she is and uh, as soon as i get my information i come on and i e my fingers go to work i just tell her everything uh, i want to say hi to brandy um uh, my sexy lover i um thank you for shouting me out in your video and you know check out the mini ivf check it out um so we're just hoping and praying that everything goes well and we'll be pregnant by 2011 so anyway you guys keep praying for me so bye